Well, howdy tubers. Well, we're trying this again in a, in a little bit different way. I've got an old VCR uh, camera tripod. That's it. And so we'll see how that does on you being able to see what I'm working on. So I'll pause this and get it set up over there. I had a, a subscriber. Well, I don't know if they're subscribers or not, but a guy said that uh, he wanted to see how I dimpled. So with with this, I'm not having to hold the camera. Well, then maybe I can show you guys better. So we'll pause. So here we go. My, my dimpler just barely fit, fits in there. But there we go. Now flip it around, and I'm going to show you a different kind of dimpler that's cheaper. But here again, I didn't get you in there. Ah, uh, heck! Okay, let's see. There we go. And there, and then, and there you can see what it does on the back side. And now we go down and do these here. Well, I'm going to shut this off after this because this repetitive thing ain't, ain't helping any. Okay, here's, here's another kind of dimpler that, that I made on, on my lathe. Let's see. And there's the receiving end. And anyways, that's... Made that on my lathe, and then you put that in there, or you put that. There we go. Put that in there. Put this on here, and then you just use a rivet gun. A hand rivet gun, I should say, and and squeeze on it, and then you you can dimple them. But now this is available from I believe I got these from Aircraft Spruce, but they was from uh, uh, got them at Oshkosh. But there you go for, for three thirty second rivet. There you, you got part number and all that stuff there for you and a price. And then this is a little thing, like I said, that I made. But these come with these nails that they kind of grind off the serration right there. But for 332nd rivet, so we'll put this in here for these for the one that I haven't done yet. You can see the one that I haven't done there on the top left. So I'm. Um, Thinking there for a second, I was going backwards, but and there we go. And then you put the rivet gun on there, hand rivet gun, because it does not take much. And you take that off, and voila, a dimple. Okay, and 
And the reason for that is, if you remember from yesterday's video, that I countersunk those with this. This is called a, a microstop. And so you get it set, and then you can get them, get them countersunk pretty much identical. But like we told you yesterday, that you can just do that with a quarter-inch drill bit or something because it's not, not anything structural, anything like that. But then that just allows for... Uh, get it there. Okay. That allows for that to fit in there and nestle in there and be flat on the back with those with those dimples there. Actually, they, these might have to be just a little little bigger. But okay, okay. So I'm making these a little bit bigger. I had I had set it originally so that a flush rivet would fit in there, but that wasn't enough. So did it a little bit more. So you just have to practice on that on the on the countersinking so that your so that the dimple will fit in there flush, if that makes sense. Okay, there I countersunk it on bulkhead F for the nut plate is what we're doing this for. Okay, so now I've done both doublers. So we're ready to go together, I believe. Have to check the plans. Well, almost forgot to do the other two. So there's four on each doubler for dimples. There you go. Okay, well there, that's all been deburred and then clicoed in. And of course there's no doubler or tripler down here at the bottom because that's bulkhead F. So I guess I'll end this one because it's getting pretty long. Uh, so there you go. God bless and please um, comment, 